What is HTML5? That is probably one of the most frequently asked questions I receive on a daily basis, and today I will be giving you my answer. So first off, the definition of HTML5 is basically the next major revision to the hypertext markup language, otherwise known as the core markup language of the World Wide Web. So now I will explain to you HTML5 a little bit more in depth, so hopefully you can understand it better. So HTML5 is the proposed to be the next standard for internet media plugins. As you may have heard, it's currently fighting head-to-head -head with Adobe Flash and other similar applications that are web-based, such as Microsoft Silverlight and Java Player. Also, HTML5 has been in the works since early 2004, and surprisingly, when I saw that, I didn't know it's been around for that long, but it's they've really been working hard to um, get the job done, so it's been going strong for six years now, and hopefully um, it should be released sometime this year in 2010, but we're not sure on that one. Also, some video hosting websites, such as YouTube and Vimeo, have already tried custom-built video players for their content that involve the HTML style. However, they're just testing how the HTML um, would kind of work with their video players because, as you know, um, HTML5, it's sort of in beta, sort of speak still, so it's not um, fully open to the public just yet. And also, a really interesting thing when I was reading an article about HTML5 was that I found this. So, th so there's obviously the editors for HTML5, and there's two editors. There's Google's Ian Hickson and David Hitt of Apple. Now, when I saw the editors of this project were, I saw that somebody from Apple was involved, and a light bulb went off in my head, figuratively speaking, of course. But Apple currently doesn't have Adobe Flash support, obviously, as many of you Apple fanboys have been complaining about. But if somebody from Apple is involved with another internet media plugin that shows that displays media content, I'm thinking that all the iPads, iPhones, and iPods, etc., will soon have HTML support, which will also let the users fl view f Flash content as well. So they're being very sneaky sneaky. Also, there's going to be a handful of new APIs or application programming interfaces with HTML5 in the new markup language. So included will be a canvas element for 2D drawing, a timed media playback, an offline storage database, document editing, drag and drop, cross-document messaging, browser history management, and much, much more. So overall, giving you my take on HTML5, I think it's a very exciting project and will possibly dominate the whole internet media plugin world, mostly because Google's involved, and when Google's involved in something, they usually have a tendency to take control of everything and usually dominate whatever it is. Because many of you people know that Google is supposedly going to take over the world, which I am sure they will, and that's called 2010, my good friends. No, just kidding. So I hope you learned something about HTML5 and hopefully ignored all of my pathetic jokes. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.